We begin with this. Texas Attorney General Ken Paxton was acquitted on all articles of impeachment over the weekend. Yeah, 6 News reporter William Johnson tells us how our state reps are now weighing in. The past two weeks have been nothing short of historic. There have only ever been three people in the history of Texas who face potential impeachment. And after two weeks of trial, the senators voted in favor to keep Paxton in office. The consensus among some of the other state reps is that it's time to get back to work. Doc Anderson, who represents much of McLennan County, says he was initially one of the no votes to move forward with impeachment. My problem with that was the process was a, was a little rushed. And you have to keep in mind, William, that uh, it would disenfranchise a Republican or Democrat doesn't make any difference, but it would disenfranchise a statewide election. Anderson highlights that Paxson was voted back into office in November, three years after the whistleblower scandal started. We also heard from State Rep Kyle Cassell, who represents parts of the Brazos Valley. He thanked Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick before sending this statement, saying in part, we can now turn our focus to the upcoming special session, where we will take on the debate on education and work to finally deliver on teacher pay raises. We also heard from State Senator Lois Kolkhorst, one of the senators voting on impeachment. Kolkhorst said in part, this case was difficult and the highest vote any legislator will ever take. In the end, the House managers did not meet the heavy burden of proof, which in this case is beyond a reasonable doubt. My decision was reached after careful consideration and review of all evidence and witness testimony. Keep in mind, too, Paxton still faces charges related to a federal investigation relating to the 2020 election and security fraud charges. For now, I'm William Johnson with 6 News. And we also reached out to Representative Orr, Shine and Rainey and Senator Schwartner, all of whom have yet to comment. We'll make sure to have the full statements of those we talked to posted at our website later this evening.